Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I will be taking another break from food. Um, I'm still trying to be good before my big trip to Hawaii. And um, I did eat a little crazy this past weekend. It was um, Disney food and wine and it was absolutely delicious, but I need to make sure I don't go too crazy. Anyways, for this week, I thought I'd do another crafty sculpty project. And I have always wanted to make a certain character from the movie Princess Mononoke. I'm sure you've heard of it. I don't think it needs much explanation, um, but it's definitely one of my favorite anime movies ever. Um, I saw it when I was like in sixth grade, which isn't too young to see it, I think, but um, it blew me away. Like it was kind of brutal and it was very sobering for a sixth grader and I just loved it so much. It was kind of creepy. It was super beautiful. It was just really touching. And yeah, it'll, it'll I think, always be one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. But from the movie, um, one of the characters that was probably one of the most horrific to me besides the creepy dear god uh, was Lord Okoto. And he's the boar demon god, um, the blind albino one not the one in the very beginning. So he is an originally demon. He was just shot and injured and this poison then spread into his body and turned like his hate for humanity um, into demon form. And that kind of manifests itself in these like almost like wormy blood vessel -y looking growths all over his body. And it's really gruesome and ugly and creepy and I just love it. So I wanted to recreate that in like a sculpture form. I haven't seen it recreated by anybody too much. I did see someone do like a really beautiful mask. Um, if you Google it, I'm sure you can find it online. Um, so I thought I'd do that. As usual, I'm pretty nervous about this project. I've never done an animal that looks somewhat realistic. Um, I love all the detail work that goes into it, but just the basic structure I'm just kind of nervous about. Really armature and sculptures, like all the experience I've had with it, I posted online as video, so you can tell that my experience is very little. Um, but I'm still super excited to see the end product. I am going to be spreading out this project over like two weeks, um, so I'm going to work on it very slowly so that I ensure that it comes out looking how I want it to look instead of rushing. At the same time, I'm trying to plan this big party and getting everything ready before our trip. So the last thing I want to do is feel stressed out over an art project. Um, art should always be a really enjoyable experience, so I'm really excited to get started. Let's get on to it. So it looks a little goofy right now, but this is the sketch I made. Again, it shows like where the wire armature should lay. And then all these like hash marks kind of represent um, like aluminum foil and masking tape to kind of bulk his body up. And then the outside will be clay. Um, I'm also trying to um, twist his legs to be uh, double wired so that they're strong. So they actually hold him up. I don't really know how I'm going to attach him to the base. Um, this is the base that I have. It's pretty sturdy and heavy. Um, I just need to figure out a way to attach him where he won't be like wobbling around because if you don't know, boars have very like skinny, flimsy legs compared to the rest of their body. So that's kind of like my one concern right now. Um, I'm also going to be adding these other little boars. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know that they're actually humans in disguise with like a boar hide like draped over them. So it gives off this like really creepy hollow look. So yeah, this is how I'm hoping it might turn out. Fingers crossed. So the first step was actually creating the armature. I was using jewelry, wire, and floral wire, which is probably not the right materials to use, but it's just what I had on hand. And I just needed just a basic shape to start working off of. Um, like I mentioned before, I double wired uh, the legs for support kind of an awkward process still learning but I was pretty happy um, because it seemed really sturdy at this point next step was wrapping the whole armature at least the body portion in tinfoil 
um, and then putting strips of masking tape to kind of hold the tin foil together so it doesn't unravel. Um, this ensures that I don't have to make the whole bore out of Sculpey clay. It saves clay and it makes for uh, less baking time. This was after I had already baked it once in the oven in this really creepy weird horse shape. I bake it in steps to make sure that the very inner part of the Sculpey form is baked all the way through. So I'm layering on um, more of the actual shape of the pig, so it'll start to look a little less creepy. I also need to mention that when I began sculpting the actual form of the boar, I did struggle in terms of just the form. Like his front left leg is curved right now, so it's not touching the ground because I wanted to give it that dramatic look, but I kind of struggled making this work in terms of proportions with his other legs. So I ended up straightening it out um, by the time I was done with him. Obviously this character is from an animated movie and sometimes that's hard to translate because it's like 2D drawings into a 3D form. So I did struggle a bit, especially because I haven't really done this before. At least the mandrake was based off of like an actual sculpture I could easily reference. So there was a bit of trial and error. I finally decided to go extra cartoony um, with the fur detail and just do like little spiky bits if you can see. It was tedious but I was a lot happier with this effect um, rather than say a more natural look. Okay so I have to pause right here because this is a warning about how terrible the quality is going to be in this video going forward. Super grainy, super ugly, super potato. And I apologize profusely. This is when I switched over to my new camera and I really don't know what I'm doing. I shouldn't put myself down so much, but really this is not very easy to watch. Definitely not aesthetically pleasing, but maybe we'll just pretend it's like a VHS grainy effect. Um, but yeah, sorry about what you're about to see. I'm gonna start skipping through pretty fast, but you'll see me finish out the actual boar and then start to put in his tentacles. It was a pretty long process, but I do love doing really detailed, tedious work. I don't know, maybe that's just the masochist in me, um, but that's where I find most of my joy. And it wasn't really until this video where I realized how goofy I look sometimes when I do parts that are a bit tricky. More so than putting the tentacles on, I think painting the actual tentacles was probably the most tedious part. If you're ever interested in doing something like this, make sure to use a paintbrush that you don't care about destroying because I really started jabbing into the tentacles at certain points. I wasn't really sure what to do with the base. I decided to just do like a natural green look um, based off of what they showed in the movie, sort of. It came out kind of clunky, but I wasn't complaining. I just wanted something that I could just quickly throw together. And when it came to attaching everything, again, I used that same Gorilla Glue. Boy, is this footage really grainy. I'm sorry again, um, but that just ensured that it stayed in place. Didn't want to get too complicated.
But here is the board in much better quality now because I decided to reshoot um, the final product um, after I realized how to work my camera a little bit better. Um, but I am really happy with how he turned out. On Instagram, he didn't do as popular as my cakes, probably because he's just clay and cake is just much more exciting. But this is probably one of my favorite projects. All right, thank you guys so much for sticking it through to the very end. Apologies again for the quality. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.